In a silent hangar, under cold white lights, the J-50 emerges like a steel phantom. Its shape is strikingly different. Unlike America's F-22, with its tall vertical tails, this machine follows the path of the B-2 Spirit. Tailless, angular, and designed for invisibility, this is not just aesthetic design. It is a bold decision to sacrifice the tail surfaces in pursuit of maximum stealth. But that decision comes at a cost. Stability, control, and the variability to stay airborne at the limits of performance. The secret lies at the very tips of the wings. They are called All Moving Wing Tips, or AMTs. To many, they seem like an exotic Chinese invention. But in truth, the idea is far older. During the Second World War, the Horton brothers, pioneers of the flying wing, first proposed this concept. In the 1,950 seconds, America's NACA, the ancestor of NASA, tested similar ideas inside wind tunnels. In the 1,980 seconds, European engineers explored wingrons on the Eurofighter before discarding them. Even DARPA funded American experiments in the 1,990 seconds experiments that ultimately went nowhere. For decades, AMTs were a solution without a mission. So why has China brought them back? The answer is stealth. A tailless design offers enormous advantages against radar. Traditional tail fins reflect radar energy from multiple angles. Remove them, and you move closer to true broadband stealth. The J-50's lambda wing with its notched trailing edges allows stealth alignment while eliminating vertical and horizontal tails. But it also creates new dangers. The Lambda Wing is notoriously unstable. It is prone to sudden pitch break of violent nose drop when airflow separates at the outer wing. At relatively low angles of attack, sometimes as little as 10 degrees, the airflow collapses. Lift is lost, the nose pitches down abruptly, and the entire wing can stall. For a fighter jet that must maneuver at the edge of flight, this is a fatal flaw. Traditional stealth aircraft like the B-2 Spirit cope with split ailerons or drag rudders, but those solutions create drag, cost efficiency, and fail in certain conditions. For a combat fighter, it is not enough. This is where AMTs return as a unique solution. Positioned at the wingtips, they rotate upward, not downward, to generate asymmetric drag. This creates yaw control providing directional stability for a jet that has no vertical tail. More importantly, because the AMTs sit outside the zone where pitch break occurs, they continue to function even when the main wing has already stalled. That means they remain effective in stall recovery, giving the pilot a fighting chance to regain control when everything else fails. There are further advantages. Because of their location, AMTs do not need to be large. With the hinge placed correctly, the torque required to move them can actually be less than traditional split ailerons. Smaller actuators mean lighter systems, a critical benefit for a stealth fighter where every kilogram matters. In flight, the result is clear. The J-50 can maintain stable, tailless flight, slipping off radar screens as its clean surfaces reflect almost nothing. To one side of history stands the United States, which abandoned AMTs decades ago. To the other stands China, experimenting, reviving, and perhaps proving that an idea once rejected can find new life. But the story does not end here. What happens if the future of American air power, the sixth generation F divided by AXX, secretly incorporates a version of AMTs under another name? Would the cycle come full circle, technology discarded, reborn, and then finally accepted as essential? For now, the J-50 remains a question mark, a silhouetted sunset vanishing into the clouds. The all-moving wingtips, once forgotten, may yet decide the future of stealth fighters. So what do you think? Is China ahead of its time or chasing a dead end? If you enjoyed this exploration, subscribe to 3Z Sky for more in-depth military documentaries. And leave a comment below because the debate on the wings of tomorrow has only just begun.